Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with the Tunnelscapes collection designed by Vicky P for Spellbinders. It is so much fun. Let your creativity take flight. This one, winner. Look at this. <laughs> you can do scenes like this. You can also get creative and have your cup of joe full of energy and colors bursting out of your morning coffee. That's my story here. <laughs> So before I get started in this amazing collection of Tunnelscape goodness, I wanted to remind you that you can still enter to win a Lilac Shimmer Scout and Platinum 6 die cut machine. You have until June 30th to enter. It's open to US and Canadian residents. No purchase necessary. I will put a link in the video description box below so you can fill out that form. Kit Club is open for new subscriptions until the 27th. I will link my Kit Club video here so you can take a look at all the goodies in this Tropical Dreams Kit Club. Amazing. Plus, the May Kit Club is now available for purchase if you wanted to get some individual items because you missed it last month. Now it's available in-store individuals. For example, my Flamingo card. That's a winner right there. There's also the toucans, lots of goodies from the May Kit Club. So I'll put a link for the May Kit Club if you wanted to get some of those goodies from last month and add it to this month. May and June is a wonderful collaboration of summer crafting goodness. It really is. Or vacation crafting goodness. Getaway goodness. <laughs> And finally, the past Kit Club sale ended this weekend, but now Spellbinders has 15% off on clearance. So if you shop clearance, it will automatically add 15% off to your cart. Yay! So check your wish list at Spellbinders. If there's anything you want and it's on clearance, now might be the time because you're going to get even a better deal. Okay, crafters. Here's my other card. Look at that underwater scene. Let's get into all this tunnelscape goodness. Let's get started. The Tunnelscapes collection consists of three sets of Tunnelscape scenes. So fabulous. Just absolutely fabulous. Then three sets of elements to go with these Tunnelscapes and also a sentiment stamp set. High quality photopolymer stamps too. Lots of sentiments in here love okay so now let's take a look at each tunnelscape first up there is the tunnel clouds die set this is only eight dies but wow look at all you can create with this these are layers of clouds like inverted clouds so then you can get to do what i really love doing which is the dry shaker effect <laughs> which means that everything else is elevated and you're looking in. I love this. The largest cloud that you're looking at here, five inches tall by four inches or a little bit under four inches. And you get three layers. So you get the big outer layer, a medium layer, and then a small layer. You also get some adorable clouds. I love these clouds. Fabulous job, Vicky. Just the whole collection. Very comprehensive. Love the clouds. You get a nice sun. You get this piece to layer onto the sun, stars, and the moon. So you can have a day scene, night scene. Love. So tunnel clouds die. The element die set that goes with it is fly away dies, where there is a plane. Only these two pieces makes your plane. So this one is super easy. Great for your travel cards too, vacation. This beautiful kite, which has the kite base, the kite layers, and here are the four quadrants on your kite, and then the kite tail. You can do the tail by itself, you can do the tail with a bow, and then you can also change the colors of the bow. Love that. Okay, crafters, here are my examples. Now, I'm using a different element die set within the Tunnelscapes collection here. It goes more with the nature scene, but you can also bring it with this because of the clouds. So super love. This bird die set is called Perched Birds. I love this so much. You get two branches and the birds on this five by seven card because you know I love to have my little space going on. I cut out the largest die here in white. Then I came in and I'm using one millimeter foam just to offer a little bit of distance. Then back here going in deeper. You see the shadow? That is now three millimeter foam. I'm loving all the one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter foams. One millimeter will be your lowest point, then two and three, three being the highest, okay? I'll link below Spellbinders Foam Adhesives. I'll also link scrapbook.com Foam Adhesive. 
that is what's creating my depth easily. This part is the deepest. So you see how you can see in there, like if it was a shaker card, you just have a piece of acetate. You could do that too with this. Super easy. Second layer here, I cut out with Glacier cardstock, which is back in stock. Yay! Did a light bit of ink blending, not crazy, because I knew I wanted my birds in blue. And then the back here, that's white cardstock with even lighter ink blending. Distress Oxide Tumbled Glass for the Sky. I'm liking that. For this type of sky okay look at the clouds I put the clouds in white and then the birds with the whole tunnel scape set you can put a plane the kite or in this case the birds so this is like a outdoor nature scene there are the branches here are the little birds so this one fits for that little small bird this set for my big bird and then these are the extra leaves for the flowers i am shopping within the tunnelscape collection i also use the rainbow slice tunnel dies i use some of the smaller flowers in here too so yes within this collection that's how comprehensive it is you can mix match and play all you want but isn't this fabulous so fabulous let me give you a measurement on the bird seeing that this is my only card with the birds bird is one and three quarters of an inch tall by three quarters of an inch wide one of the branches four and a quarter and with roughly under two inches now with these little dots that's where you can put the flowers the bird or use these bigger dots to stick underneath here to get a good hold okay so i loved perched birds then to finish off my tunnel clouds card here you are everything sentiments you are everything wonderful press it or glimmer it and then die cut it out. Love it. It's just one big plate with so much opportunity. Love this one. She just recently started to go on sale here and there. So that is the one that you might want to put in your wish list. I love it right here. The gems. Okay, crafters, we have to have a gems sidebar. <laughs> the gems on this card is Peridot. Spellbinders does have Peridot cardstock. It's not as bright as the Peridot, which is this color. It's more of a, just a nice green. So Spellbinders has green gems, but it's a darker green. And I have multiples of it because I keep buying it. You know, I'm adding this one to my stash. So Spellbinders was kind enough to send me one of all of the new gems. I'm going to be buying more. So Peridot is one. Then there's a Christmas green emerald. Look at that. Super pretty. Okay. Still different than the green gems. There is Smoky Topaz. That goes into the neutral. Peach Blush looks neutral. Graphite, love, because the darkest one is Onyx, but this is like gray. Super loving that. Then there's two new blues. Denim, look at denim. A nice dark blue, really, really pretty color. And Capri Blue. There are a few blues at Spellbinders. Teal, Aquamarine Blue. This is a brighter Capri Blue. Perfect for summer crafting as well. And... A purple, loving the two purples. Berry, you know, I'm adding a bunch of that. And orchid, look at that beautiful purple. This is like a pink purple. And then this one is medium purple. So super pretty. So all these new gems are out. And I will put all the new collections below as well that are releasing. Because everything is like, yeah, really fabulous. <laughs> like, wow, really, really loving all this comprehensive goodness so that's the peridot here with my sentiment i didn't bring any in here except for the center of the flowers that's opal gems okay so i'll put a link for the gems and then i'll also put a link for these new gems so fabulous so that's the tunnel scape now i did not use the smallest one i'm using one and two so i didn't use this one you could go all the way in but i thought two was enough it gives the story but you can go as far as you want with your story. My next card, which you saw this wonderful shaped card. Look at this new shape. This is from the new sealed 3D Botanical. So my first two cards have a lot of things going on. <laughs> and this is the Arch Labels and Tag Dies. So before, you know I love the Make-A-Wish Arch Labels, Essential Arches, this style. This is a little different because of the shape, but this is so much fun. I love both of them. All three die sets are like fabulous foundations. So the background of my shaker card here is from the new 
stencil of the month summertime graphics here you're seeing the beach ball this one is the cloud set isn't that fabulous i put some distress oxide in the back picked raspberry kitsch flamingo um can't remember the other color <laughs> salvage patina <laughs> made this whole background and the shaker parts for the kite so this one is a lively fun card you could say that this influenced this. You can see the colorways, even down to the glimmer sentiment with that beautiful moon dust hot foil roll. Still loving that one. Going to be glimmering that one for a while. So I'll link it below too with the hot foil roll. In the back here, I just scored it to put uh, another layer to turn it into a shaped card. So fabulous. And then there's a little tag here too in the center. Fun. Largest die here is an A2, okay? So here's a kite. Here are the layers. Then I just ran this twice in two colors and there is the little white tail. So fun. Do you have to turn it into a shaker? No. So there's lots of options in play, but not enough to confuse you where you don't know where to go. It's just, oh, I can do this. I can do that. I can have fun. It's more fun. This is a very fun collection. At the same time, quite interesting too. Great for masculine cards too with that plane. Sentiment here, best day ever, comes from the curved everyday sentiment. I love this Glimmer Hot Foil set. You get two sets of sentiments. I believe it's 14 in total. You glimmer once, die cut once. There's a lot of good sentiments in here. There's happy retirement, your birthday, best day ever. There's get well soon, sending prayers, all sorts of goodies in this one. I have a lot of this done in many, many configurations. White with black, black with white, and the white with blue or with other colors as well glimmered out this is fabulous because this one maximizes one sheet of cardstock that you'll glimmer on you'll get six sets out of one sheet of cardstock <laughs> so that's my second example look at that stencil of the month with the cloud and then that kite is perfect this has a nice cotton candy feel yeah i'm feeling the cotton candy right isn't this a great card for a girl this is the next tunnel scape underwater tunnel dies love this one too look at my card all again with the turquoise waters of jamaica <laughs> so here i have three layers of spell binders turquoise cardstock waterfall tea topaz lagoon instead of going with the blue spruce which would have been four layers of teals turquoise is too much i went with navy so that's like when the water gets really deep now you see that I'm using all three layers, again, playing with different heights too, because when I turn this card sideways, oh, there's a lot of foam going on here, but really fun putting this together with that depth. And you could still put the acetate here and turn it into a shaker with layers. Talk about a fun card. You can turn these into interactive cards in two seconds. So this is an A6 card, which is four and a half by six and a quarter. I like to have my little space. You could fit it on an A2, but you could turn this into anything, really and truly. It's such an organic shape. It could be anything. It's limited by your imagination. That's all it's limited by. Four and three quarters of an inch tall, a little over three and a half inch wide, okay? So this will definitely fit on an A2. So fun. You could turn it sideways too and have a whole scene with the fish. Now in this underwater tunnel, which is only nine dies, you get this bit right here. You get this. I love the coral with the detail. Look at that detail that embosses here. Another piece of coral. Then you get this adorable anchor. Didn't even use the anchor yet. I was thinking of putting it here. Love the little rocks too. They're my little rocks. You can add these two as your grounding elements within your scene. And then there are the fish. Fish is the second die set. Underwater marine life. Perfect for this. Love, 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 love. And you can use this with the next tunnelscape card I'm going to show you too. So you're going to get three styles of fish. I only used two. This one looks pretty big. So let's go with a quick measurement. One by one and a quarter. And then look at that turtle. Love the turtle. But for my scene, because I have it vertical, he would have taken up too much. If I turned the card like this and had the turtle, fun. Or put the turtle on the outside too. Turtle is two and a half inch wide by one and one quarter of an inch tall. And then right here, these are all the layers for the turtle. Everything layers up. Love that. Wishing you oceans of joy. That's from the typewriter adventure sentiment stamp here. It's one of the sentiments in here because there are just so many. But I love this typewriter font too. 
and I stamped it out and heat emboss it. This flag is cut out of, it's not this set, but it's the other glimmer set that has the straight line, okay? And then I finished it off with some opal gems because the opal gems looks like bubbles of water. Isn't that fun? I could have brought it out here too, but I thought it looked better back there. See how you're looking in tunnelscape? This has a deeper tunnel because it's four layers. This is only three layers, but still fabulous. Love, 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 love. All right, next set of dies. This is the last of the tunnelscape, and this is the biggest one. 31 dies. Look how big this is. I so love this set. And I decided to go with this card. I don't know what inspired me. I let the die talk to me actually and I was thinking the energy from drinking a good cup of coffee but the basis of this which is four layers deep and I'm only using three layers one two three it just has this really cool shape to it you could turn it sideways you could put the birds you could put the fish you could turn it underwater just have fun with this if this inspires you just play play and play some more it inspired me the energy that you get from drinking a cup of coffee like liquid sunshine that's what i was thinking here okay five by seven card again now here i shopped my spellbinder stash from the merry mugs and circle delights which is a christmas collection this fabulous die set with that coffee cup matting layer this is the Merry Mug Creations die. This one has been on sale here and there. So this is a fabulous die set. Cut it out with some teal topaz. Just to vary this from the background, I used the loops embossing folder and I embossed that top part, layered it onto this bottom piece. What I did, I layered these two together and cut a little piece to make it coffee. And then for the flowers, it's all in here. Look at all these florals that you get. Lots of foliage, lots of leaves, lots of flowers in different sizes. You could have yourself a whole garden with this or take these and then play with them with the other tunnel scapes. You could have the clouds, flowers, even though this is like an underwater, but it doesn't have to be. It's just anything and the flowers too. I liked the V shape on this one for that energy, okay? So in the centers of the flowers, I'm using enamels from my stash. So this one is the rainbow slice. Love, 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 love. And you could do this in rainbow colors too, why not? A lot of these here can help you get started and finish your masculine cards easily. All you are limited by really is your imagination and color choices. And the sentiment here, hello sunshine, right from here. Curved everyday sentiment. Yay! I had a ball and a blast playing with the tunnel scape collection i made four cards including a fun shaker this is just an amazing collection great job vicky great job vicky i was like wow you can reach for this a lot and you can just really go way out or just stay right here you don't have to stretch your imagination too far the good thing about a collection like this it can get your crafty mojo going. If I had to pick a favorite, I would go for the clouds. But then I love this organic shape too. This one stretched my imagination the most, the rainbow. This one I can see, this one I can see, this one. I was like, what could I... Morning cup of coffee. <laughs> that was it. Okay, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Thanks so much for watching. Look at all of these great cards. Loving every single one of them. Great job again, Vicky love two thumbs up until the next video stay crafty my friends